What if the way we think about health is fundamentally incomplete? Not wrong, but just missing something. What I'm about to share is not a new discovery. In fact, it's a truth we've known for over a hundred years. But it's about to completely rewrite how we think about our body, our health, longevity, how we treat illness, and even what we believe is possible. So, over a hundred years ago, quantum physics showed us that particles are actually waves, that observation can change outcomes, and the universe became not as solid as we think, but this field of probabilities and waves and energy vibrating in certain patterns. And this has been our mainstream physics for over a century. And yet, when it comes to biology, and especially our health, we are still stuck in the pre-quantum Newtonian world. We still treat our body like a broken 3D machine. We cut it with scalpels, we suppress the symptoms with pharmaceuticals. And we're right to do that, because those things do work. <laughs> but they're missing, they're not leveraging our deeper understanding of reality. We've known for a hundred years that physics is quantum. And since biology is governed by laws of physics, like everything else in the universe, that logically means that biology has to be quantum as well. And it's time medicine caught up. I call this new paradigm the frequency medicine revolution. So, how do we apply frequency to biology? This is a demonstration from UCLA's Department of uh, Physics and Astronomy. And it shows us the principle of resonance. So, at the very fundamental level, everything in the universe vibrates. And it resonates with everything around. You may have seen this experiment before, but these metronomes very quickly begin to resonate with each other. But this happens everywhere in nature. This is why our circadian rhythms are tied with the Earth's rotation, 24 hours. This is why women's cycles are tied to the moon. And this is why hearts of lovers synchronize during sleep. Um, here I asked AI to draw a picture of my wife and I. <laughs> and uh, by the way, every study, every fact I mention is backed by studies from PubMed. PubMed is the, the main global database of research used by doctors and researchers. And you can, you can find them on these links. And so what does this tell us? It tells us that humans are frequency beings. We're wired for rhythm. And frequency medicine uses frequencies, light, sound, vibration, electromagnetic fields, to restore that rhythm. Not to suppress the symptoms or, or override the body, but to gently tune it. Now, this approach is nothing new. It has very deep roots. Long before we had words like biology or physics, uh, ancient holistic medicine systems like Chinese medicine or Ayurveda used, well, they treated the body as a whole, the physical, emotional, mental, energy body. And to them, healing was about restoring balance because they understood that the human body is a self-healing organism as long as it's in balance. And so that's, that was their, their main goal, is to bring the body into balance, into the rest and digest state. That's when healing begins to happen. When the body enters stress or fight or flight, healing stops. And so ancient shamans and healers from all over the world, from the Himalayas to the Amazon, used frequency to help us return to that balance. They used chants, drums, uh, singing bowls, to bring us back into coherence. Because they understood that the body responds to frequency. Now, Western medicine took a different path. It broke the body into parts and subsystems and treated symptoms in isolation. And again, it's extremely effective. It works very, very well. But it often creates imbalance somewhere else in the body. So frequency medicine bridges both of those worlds. It brings ancient wisdom 
and modern science into resonance. I used to be skeptical. All of this sounded way too hard to believe for me. And I wanted more evidence. And that's when I saw it. A few years ago, I watched a woman who has been experiencing chronic debilitating pain for over a decade. And in just a couple of days after restarting her uh, light therapy protocol, her symptoms began to ease. Placebo? Maybe. But I spent the next few years building, testing, researching, working with doctors and their patients. And what I've seen is way too consistent to be just a fluke and to ignore. So today, on, only on PubMed, there are 13,000 peer-reviewed studies on frequency medicine. We've seen how ultrasound can shatter tumors in 95% of cases. Microcurrent, electrical microcurrent can help 93% of tennis elbow patients. Light therapy reduces pain, accelerates bone healing, and in mental health and sports and performance, the results are just incredible and mind-blowing. Now, this is not science fiction. These are peer-reviewed, repeatable, reproducible studies, many of them placebo-controlled. And these are not isolated findings. There are signals from across the, the scientific landscape pointing to the fact that frequency changes biology. Today, chronic diseases are rising. Mental health is an epidemic. And our nervous systems are overwhelmed. We need solutions that don't just fight disease, but restore harmony. And this is where things get really exciting. In the next decade, frequency medicine won't be called alternative medicine anymore. It will be just called medicine. <laughs> and frequency-based technologies will become part of our everyday lives. We'll laugh at how we used to treat pain with pills. <laughs> so here I asked AI to draw us the clinic of the future. <laughs> and I imagine hospitals where the first intervention is not a pill, but a frequency scan and a personalized protocol. And this already happens in some forward-looking clinics. Imagine how your cell phone detects stress in your voice and automatically sends calming sound frequencies to calm your nervous system. Or AI-guided wearables with sound and light frequencies, multimodal wearables, that adjust to what your body needs in real time based on your current state. Here's my main point. This is not the future. This is already here. Your body is not broken. We're just out of tune. And your body is not a machine. It's a symphony. And every organ, every cell is an instrument. And it can be tuned with frequency. This is frequency medicine, the new operating system for human health and longevity. So what I ask is, if you're a doctor, just try this in your practice. If you're a patient, ask your doctor for this. And if you're a skeptic, even better. I, I was one too. So let's study and explore this together with open mind and rigorous science. And let this be the moment we remember when healing became about harmony. Thank you.